Soccer in America is a very highly debated topic, but if there's one thing we can all agree on, it's that U.S. soccer is pay to play. If you got the funds, if you got the resources, if you got the moolah, you're chilling. And if you don't, well, hey, tough shit. I obviously grew up playing U.S. soccer, but being from that classic Asian stingy household, we never paid extra for anything. So I never got lessons, paid for facilities, or did any personal trainings until today. Hey, that is. What's up? You want a picture? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, for sure, yeah. Dude. Sweet, thanks, bro. I right, appreciate it. Guess we're famous in these turfs. Now I need to put on for sure. <laughs> now I'm nervous. This is a facility that I do a lot of pickup at, actually. I've never done a session here, so. Honestly, I'm gonna be probably ass at this stuff. Like I mentioned, I don't do drills. I'm really not a practice player, I'm gonna be honest. You ready? Of course, I'm nervous. <laughs> My gosh, I feel like I'm in blue lock. Egoist. These balls are tiny. Look how tiny these balls are. You've seen it before, right? I've never seen, no, I've never. Never seen? Seen some on Instagram, but never yeah, really. Yeah, so perfect. So I'll kind of just run you through kind of what the machine does, what we can do with it. We'll see how you do with like the, the speed two, and then if, if it's too easy for you, then we'll, we'll bump it up. You'll notice that the goal's only halfway lit, so you can only score on the bottom. Yeah, this is high tech. High tech, dude. <laughs> Don't be nervous, bro. Oh, there we easy. go. Easy, easy. Is the soul touch okay or is that cheating? Soul touch is okay, just don't do it every single time. So again, the ball is super light, obviously smaller than what you use. Yeah, these are, right, so these are small. Again, try, instead of taking that touch right under your feet, if we can get a small little directional touch in the play. So what do you do? Check it. Check, boom, check. Just check your shoulder, easy. Uh, this Turn. one, I actually might suck at. <laughs> I never check my shoulder. Adjust. Perfect, play. Good, again. Good touch, that's a good touch. Go. Good. Nice and soft with the ball. Collect nice and low. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Hey. You did I better on that one than the ground no, ball. No, I feel like I switch off. That's what, you know what I mean? Like, I like. All right, guys, I'm going to keep it real. I felt like an absolute bot at this blue lock training facility thing. It was just something like I'm completely not used to. But, hey, you know, I'm trying to get better. Good training head, for dude. Korea. I'm comfortable being uncomfortable. But, yeah, I mean, I'm just not the most technically sound player. Like, I can dribble. But when it comes to, like, tight, technical, those precision, yeah, 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 yeah stuff. Yeah, that's not me. I'm going to keep it real. Um, that's not also checking your shoulder like come on nobody out here checking their shoulder you know you Eliza check it once before, before and kind of get aware of what's Take going on but there's no oh way i'm spamming that shit like this like i'm not that guy like, come on Turn. this thing was and also finish. pretty spendy it was around 400 dollars per month for about four You're sessions going yeah, i'm time. gonna take what i learned from the session okay, steal short, it and then go to my local park at the wall and just bust that out yeah there's no way i'm gonna be spending that but the facility was super high tech it was pretty cool the ai scoreboards would tell you like their accuracy your speed of play your challenges it honestly yep. felt like blue lock yes. like it honestly felt like a video game i can tell i'm, I'm struggling here <laughs> first time you're doing it again it's a little different different ball different environment so but after a few times you, you get used to it. but again like all right ladies and gentlemen we are at the field and we are going to actually let me backtrack you guys didn't know i won the the korean american olympics and so i am traveling to korea and we're going to be playing a professional tournament out there they flew us out blah 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 it's happening pretty soon so today we're training and we're going to see what happens and i'm going to uh do my best to implement what i just trained on might look good i don't know we'll see i kind of forgot so we'll see what happens we're late so okay, go I'm watching you. i watching you talking about me. I call only good thing. Only good thing. No, only good thing. Oh yeah, hit that. Yep, baby, touch. So when it came to using what I learned from that soccer facility in game, it was kind of hard to see immediate results. I mean, obviously because it's technical work, but you're not gonna see immediate results like right away. It takes time to build. Uh, maybe I did feel my touch a little bit sharper, but definitely my finishing was, yeah, it was still what it is. I think it's just in the real game, you don't touch the ball that much like as much as like that facility was shooting balls at you pause and also like half the time you touch it it's not under like 
crazy pressure that you should be able to deal with it if you play and you're comfortable. So only like those one or two, three times, it comes like real crucial that your technique is on point. But yeah, I mean, a lot of times that's when it's a goal scoring opportunity. So all it takes is one or two, three times to get a goal. So, so yeah, I mean, it does matter. But I mean, for the video's sake, like you can't really, you can't really show, show much of whatever. Not really getting a chance to do what I practiced, huh? <laughs> I just don't touch it as much. So I grew up in the countryside where I had to drive like 20 minutes just to get into the town. It was a real small town. I didn't have any trainers. I didn't go to any facilities. I didn't go to any like group sessions like that. It was really just me and my dad just at my high school. And we just kept it old school, you know, old school drills, doing that. Got to be training with a local trainer here today. Kind of met him at pickup. Personal trainer, keeping it old school. It's what I do, giving back to the game. <laughs> Obviously, like I said, my technique's not as good as some kid growing up here. Like a fucking Calvin Sullivan just going ham. <laughs> that could probably work on it and get it up there, but like just my natural technique, it's not to that level. Just because I never trained, I never developed like that, to be real. But with that said, I feel like training, you know, with my dad just out there on the field it, it gave me more of a sense of like a real game that if that makes sense in that blue lock facility like it felt like a video game like, i didn't really even feel like i was doing soccer it felt like i was playing a game and trying to accomplish like a scoreboard so like to be honest do i recommend go and spend the money and train as a facility like i did um you could go there do it one time don't get conned into being a monthly subscription user or whatever remember what they taught you and literally go to a there, wall and fucking do it so, like, obviously if you got the money, you want to be Calvin Sullivan, go ahead, spend it, fucking go for it. But like, you don't need it. You don't need it, to be honest. Don't even check your shoulder. You don't need to check your shoulder. Like, fuck the shoulder. <laughs>